Hey guys, what's going on? James here, and we have a handful of moves to talk about as the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have signed 14 players. Yes, 14 to their practice squad. They still have two spots open on their practice squad as of the recording of this video. Once those spots are filled, I will probably talk about those in a community post or possibly even in a separate video as well, depending on who signs. But the following players have signed to the Bucks practice squad. Dylan Cook, offensive lineman. John Mulshawn, offensive guard slash center. Patrick Laird, running back. Inside linebacker, J.J. Russell. Quarterback, Ryan Griffin. Wide receiver, Devin Tompkins, wide receiver Kalen Geiger, tight end J.J. Howland, cornerback Don Gardner, defensive lineman Mike Green, defensive lineman Will Prevalon, defensive lineman Deidron Sennett, outside edge rushing linebacker Jannard Avery, and safety Nolan Turner. A lot of these practice squad signings were expected, I feel like, in my opinion, firstly, in the case of guys like John Mulshawn, Ryan Griffin, Devin Tompkins, maybe Kalen Geiger a little bit as well, Deidron Sennett, Jannard Avery, and Nolan Turner, all of those guys are probably some of the more top-tier guys on this practice squad, guys that you could elevate to the active roster if you needed them. I would say especially in the case of guys like Mulshawn, Senate, Avery, Turner, those are guys that would not surprise me at all if they got elevated at some point throughout the season for depth purposes, be it on the offensive line, defensive line, secondary, or linebacker position groups. Ryan Griffin, he's always been a, a mainstay on the practice squad since they have made the new rule where veterans can assign to the practice squad now. Then you also have some interesting developmental guys like Dylan Cook. You still have Kalen Geiger in that mix as well. J.J. Howland, Don Gardner, Mike Green, Will Prevalon, uh, among some of those other guys in there as well. Patrick Laird, he's a good veteran running back that can be elevated in a pinch, kind of in a Kenyon Barner type role is what I kind of envision him in. But all in all, a lot of these practice squad signings are not really too surprising in my opinion. Jannard Avery, he's a guy who could get elevated to the 53-man roster as well at some point. Uh, which wouldn't surprise me at all. So, yeah, folks, there are two more spots in the Bucks practice squad that need to be filled. Once those are filled, depending on who it is, if they are bigger names, I'll probably talk about it in a separate video. Uh, but if they are not, I'll probably leave it to a community tab posting. But let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions about the Bucks practice squad. Are you satisfied with it? Would you have brought in some different guys? I know some people may be a little, little bit upset that Andre Anthony and Jareth Stearns aren't a part of the Bucks practice squad. I have talked about that in a separate video already, but let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions about the Buccaneers' official uh, 2022 season practice squad. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now, and go Bucks.